Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a budget breakdown for my February paycheck number one. So for this paycheck, I actually got like my normal paycheck. I think it was like around $2,500. And then I also got my bonus, which was a little more than $700. But I've mentioned this before, but sometimes I have to travel for work. Usually like every few months, I'll have to travel for work. And the way it works is that I have to pay for it up front and then I submit everything for like a reimbursement. So I get paid, they pay me back. So I do have an upcoming work trip at the end of February. And then I'm gonna be at work for a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to take like an, I'm gonna like extend it and do like a little birthday trip because that's the week of my birthday. But anyways, all that being said, I, now have to pay for this work trip which i wasn't necessarily planning like i knew it was a possibility but i don't know it kind of seemed like it wasn't gonna happen so i am not gonna be budgeting the entire amount of money that i have coming in but i'm just gonna kind of like wing it and then just see how much money i have left over so i don't know if that made sense at all but <laughs> maybe it will make more sense by the end of the video so i'm gonna start with just the normal stuff, the regular stuff. So cash envelopes for groceries, I'm going to do 100. For gas, I'm going to do 20. Spending is going to be 50. And then the total there is 170. For utilities, I'm going to do 150. Rent is 250. Phone is going to get 50. Subscriptions is going to get 125. Debt is going to get 500 and loans will get 50. And then total here is 1,125. So for high priority singing ones, I'm trying to not stuff as much because I have that trip coming up and also because I want to do a cash stuffing every week. So I've had a hard time I've been having a hard time of like just stuffing small amounts here and then letting the rest roll over so I can do another cash stuffing. But let's try this time. So for personal, I'm going to do 20. Car maintenance, um, I'm gonna put 50 for now. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that like that or if I'll put it back down to 20. Car maintenance is like a thing where I want to be prepared in case something happens but also I don't have anything like coming up where I know I need to spend the money so I'm torn between like putting larger amounts to prepare or smaller amounts because I feel like I have time to prepare <laughs> but anyways home is going to get 20 savings will get 50 vacation will get 20 Rainy day will get 50, taxes will get 100, and then giving will get 20. So total here is 330. And then moving on to low priority. Planner is going to get five. Coffee will get 10. Isela will get five. Beauty will get 20. Self-care will get five. Christmas will get five. Shop small will get five. And then Lola and books, I'm gonna do 10 for both of those. So total here is 75. Okay, so next I'm gonna do savings challenges. Okay, so starting with my emergency fund, let's do this one. Okay, so emergency fund is getting 250.
The goal here is 3,000. We're almost done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So hopefully I'll be done with all of these by the end of March. I'm already starting to think about like which saving challenges I want to do next. I don't know, saving challenges just, they make it more fun for me. Um, Isela is going to get five dollars travel so let's see we're at the beginning of february i think i need to do two honestly actually no sorry so the goal here is two thousand dollars for my non-work part of the trip we're going to Napa and I've really already like planned everything. And so the total is going to be a thousand dollars. Um, that's for the hotel, for the wineries to get into the wineries that we want to go to or to make a reservation. And then also I left like some buffer for food. I don't have to pay for my flight because my work's paying for that, but this is 2000. So we don't have to completely finish it by then. Okay, so we got two fifty for travel, and I think honestly, I think that would get me to a thousand gifts. Let's see. I started gifts a little later, so that's why they don't have as much. All right, so gifts got fifty again. I might skip gifts for the rest of February, just because I only have one birthday in February and no, it's just my birthday in March. Family, let's see. Okay, so family is getting 20. Next is my birthday. My birthday is getting 50. I I might need to start stuffing like extra here or scratching off extra here, maybe like two each time because my birthday is the very beginning of March and we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Okay, and then this is just my rollover money. And then last is my 1K savings challenge by Princess Budgets. I just go in order because I'm too indecisive to pick something. Okay, so the next is 38. Since I did get a bonus, I might take some of that money and fill in like the extra hundreds bigger amounts here I haven't decided yet I need really need to see like what happens with that work trip and all of that maybe when I get the reimbursement I will put some extra money in there okay so total here is 663 that is kind of on the higher side of what I normally do for savings challenges and then total for this entire budget is 2,363. So that's what the budget looks like. Not bad. I'm happy we stayed under the actual paycheck amount. And then for the remainder, I will just put that in my rollover envelope. And then I usually use this money for like the next cash stuffing that doesn't align with my actual paycheck. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if the lighting's not great. It's really gloomy outside today. It's like raining and cold. 
Um, but the next video will be my cash stuffing for this paycheck, which I'm excited for. Cash stuffings always make me happy. I'm a little nervous because February and March are going to be big spend months for me, which like some of it will be fun, but I don't know. With everything that's going on right now, I just feel like I need to be saving as much but I'm torn between that and like actually just living my life and having fun. Anyways, don't mind me. Thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.